Serikali kwa kushirikiana na sekta binafsi iko mbioni kuanza kujenga barabara ya haraka expressway itakayojengwa kuanzia Kibaha mpaka Morogoro yenye urefu wa kilomita zaidi ya mbili ambayo watumiaji wa barabara hizo watalipia. Akizungumza katika mafunzo ya miradi ya ubia na sekta binafsi PPP na EPC plus F kwa mameneja wa Tandrod wa mkoa na wahandisi wa taasisi za serikali meneja wa miradi ya barabara ya ubia kati ya serikali na sekta binafsi pamoja na miradi ya EPC plus F mhandisi Kitainda Michael amesema hatua hiyo itawezesha na itarakisha maendeleo huku uchumi wa nchi ukikua na pia barabara hizo zitapunguza ajali private sector tuna uh, trust kwamba wana 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 wana, wana innovations wana wana skills za kuweza kufanya mambo haraka zaidi kusevu gharama kuleta new technology eh, katika 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 taifa kwa hiyo kwa kufanya hivyo unaweza kuta tunapata miradi iliyo bora zaidi inayo dumu zaidi kwa gharama nafuu kwa haraka wale wanayokuja kwa mfumo wa PPP ina maana wanakuja na investments zao E, wanakuja na na fedha zao wenyewe equity assets na na, na, na funds wanakuja wana investi, na wanakueleza utaratibu ambao utakusaidia wewe kurudisha hizo fedha kwenye mradi huo huo bila kuathiri e, shughuli zingine za serikali na maslahi mengine ya wananchi na jamii e, ina, ina improve ina improve ni vitu kama hivyo kwa mfano kwa jamii sasa hivi tunatekeleza mradi wa expressway kutoka Kibaha kwenda Morogoro e, mkiangalia sasa hivi nimekuwa nikiwaeleza mkipita tu barabara hiyo Morogoro mtakuta ni ajali nyingi mara kwa mara katika ajali hizo zinazotokea watu wanapoteza maisha yao wanapoteza mali zao wakipoteza maisha hawezi wakarikava angalau mali wale wakipote waki magari ya pinduka ni hasara kubwa wanapata sana kuna spare eh, vile vile kutokana na barabara yenyewe sio expressway muda wa kusafiri kutoka pointi moja kutoka labda huko kibaa kwenda Morogoro unakuta ni mkubwa sana muda mwenyewe huo sasa kama ni mtu anafanya shughuli za haulage ana, ana material anasafirisha kutoka kibaha kupeleka Morogoro au kutoka Morogoro kuja kibaha una, unaweza kukuta kwa siku moja akafanya trip moja lakini tutafanya expressway muda wa usafiri tutakuwa tumepunguza sana mtu anaweza akafanya hata trip nne kutoka, kutoka eh, Dar es Salaam kwenda Morogoro Iki, kama ni tipu nne anafanya kama kwa tipu moja yeye anapata faida ya milioni moja kwa tipu nne atapata milioni nne kwa hiyo kwa mtu huyo hata akilipia hiyo expressway yeye amepata milioni nne umesema ametulipa sisi laki mbili amepungukiwa na nini katika safari hizo nne kwa hiyo faida yake inakuwa ni kubwa zaidi afya yake vile vile E, hachoki anapoendesha barabara zina ubora hali ya juu Haku, hapata kuepo na mamilima minuko kwa sababu kwenye mambo expressway gradient tunakuta ni 3% hizo ndio innovation wazo nazo nasema hii ni expressway hatutaweka gradient ya 8% 7% 4% or 10% tutaweka 3% maximum ili speed kanae kwenda mtu aweze kwenda na minimum speed ya 120 km parawa sasa hii inasaidia productivity afya ya mtu inapunguza ajali design tu zile kutokana na innovation zao tumesema innovation tuna allow innovation tuna innovation zao watakuwekea design ambaye itapunguza uh, accidents huenda zisiwepo kabisa wataalamu wa miradi wamesema wako tayari kutoa ushirikiano kwa utekelezaji wa miradi ya mifumo mipya ya EPCF huko baadhi ya mameneja wa Tandron wa mikoa na wakazungumzia faida za ubia kati ya serikali na sekta binafsi sasa ka, miradi hii kama ambavyo umesema of course ni concept mpya lakini kwa, kwa maana ya namna ilivyo e, na uhakika tutaisimamia vizuri na itakamilika kwa muda na <coughs> kama unavyosema itaenda kuwa mwarubaini wa tatizo la quality kwa sababu kuna innovation nyingi ambazo wakandarasi watakuja nazo alafu vile vile tuna utaratibu mpya wa kuhakikisha kwamba quality control tunaenda kucontrol vipi tofauti na utaratibu wa, wa kawaida kwa hiyo kuna vifaa tuna teknolojia ambazo ni mpya kabisa 
wakandarasi watakapokuwa wakikamilisha kazi hizi tunavipitisha vile vifaa tunaangalia ubora kwa hiyo hatuwezi kumlipa mpaka kwanza tukubaliane kwamba vile vibora ubora ambao unatakiwa ume, umefikia kwa hiyo ninaamini unaenda kuwa suluhisho na tutaenda kuona value for money ya ya miradi husika uh, kulingana na utaratibu ambao umebuniwa wa kutekeleza miradi kwa kutumia EPC EPC plus F pamoja na PPP ni kwamba serikali sasa inajiweka katika nafasi ya kuweza kupata mitaji kutoka kwa private sector na pia na kuweza kupata mikopo ambayo itawezesha kutekeleza miradi kwa muda mfupi kwa, kwa hiyo tuna serikali sasa itakuwa na uwezo wa kuweza kujenga kiwango kikubwa cha barabara kwa wakati mmoja kulinganisha na utaratibu uliokuepo awali na kwa kuwa sasa imejikita pia tunnel imeamua kujikita pia katika hivi vipindi vya kujengeana uwezo ni kwamba sasa wataalamu wataweza kuongeza uwezo wa kutekeleza miradi hii na kwa hiyo wanaweza sasa kumudu kasi na changamoto za utekelezaji wa miradi hii kwa hiyo pia itaongeza ubora na ufanisi katika utendaji wa kazi zao Mkufunzi wa semina hiyo Professor John Kyungso ambaye ni makamu wa rais wa kampuni ya Chill Engineering Co Limited ameelezea faida ya ubia kwa sasa serikali katika nchi mbalimbali mbali zimeanza kutumia mfumo huo wa EPCF na PPP kwani unasaidia serikali kupunguza gharama za usimamizi na uhaba wa bajeti hivyo kwa sekta binafsi kujenga miradi inasaidia katika kukuza uchumi na kuharakisha maendeleo there is uh, many countries try to ppp concept projects but uh, some population have uh, opposition to the ppp traditional method is more beneficial to the government someone says that but uh, in reality uh, according to our experience ppp some case is very beneficial to the government sometimes uh, our government have a restriction of the budget at the case at the beginning stage we compare traditional method and the ppp concept after that review and, and uh, analyze that uh, value for money uh, sometimes the ppp concept is beneficial more than the traditional method so risk sharing in terms of risk sharing spb bring their own funds and then take their own risk and then construct their infrastructure and then for 20 or 30 years maintenance during the maintenance if there are some faults they have to repair and then government easily uh, get a good infrastructure and then pay back for 30 years is a long time so at the beginning stage we compare which method is beneficial to the government but uh, according to our experience some projects is very beneficial to the government than the traditional method after that we prefer a, a ppp concept or a epcf method uh, procurement method so you don't need worried about that uh, at the beginning stage we analyze which method is beneficial to the government and then if you choose uh, your government release financial burden Uh, so many countries try to accept the PPP project method. In South Korea also, already PPP procurement method is accept accepted uh, nationally. So uh, our population, uh, the negative image is very reduced. That is comes from their experience. At the beginning stage, sometimes have uh, some adverse effect. However, we correct some our regulations. So nowadays, PPP regulation and the procurement method is settled down very well.